In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a seamless Instagram Corosa for your Instagram page or Instagram handle. An Instagram Corosa is a type of post containing multiple images, swipeable posts that contain valuable information in graphic forms. So, what are the basic advantages or the importance of using an Instagram Corosa? One, Instagram Corosas helps you to promote your Instagram page for the growth of your Instagram page. Secondly, for audience retention and engagement. And thirdly, for brand stories. It's very good for before and after posts and comparison. And lastly, for reviews. That is, if you want to you know, make review posts on your Instagram, that is a great option to actually um, go for so guys if that is what you're interested in learning today let's dive into the video first you have to open your canva app or visit canva site then when you get into the page you click on create a design and when you click on that it will take you to the next page where you can actually choose um you can actually do this by searching for instagram corosa by just using the search icon the search um, bar but we're going to be creating our own corosa from the scratch so all you just have to do is to click on create a design and it's going to bring out many suggestions for you all you just have to do is to scroll down and um, click on custom size or custom image um, that will enable you to, you know, type your, um, the size that you want for your Instagram corrosives. So they, they highly recommended, um, you know, size to use for an Instagram corrosive is 5,400 by width and 1,360 by height. So that is the highly recommended um, size you use for your design. So you just go ahead and lock that up, then click on create a new design. Here on the main page, you have to click on file and it's going to bring out um, different options where you click on the roller guide, roller and guides. Um, that is going to enable you to be able to um, resize your your template that is to create different sections for your template and where you'll be able to write different things um, for the easy sliding instead of you know making separate posts and you know posting it all along so um this is just how to go about it so here yeah, i'm going to be leaving a simple calculation for you guys um, the first section is going to be uh, 1080 Okay, so the second um, section you're going to times it um, 1080 by 2 the third um, section is going to be 1080 times 3 the fourth um, section is going to be 1080 times 4 until the fifth section so even if you're having um you want to you know have like um seven um sections for your post um you just go ahead and times it by that number um but if you are creating more than um five sections i highly advise you not to use um 5400 by um 1260 instead you're going to times 1080 by the numbers of section you want for your design write the figure you get under your width um while your height remains 1360 so that is just the basic trick that you can use for your instagram cover so so um i'll just go ahead and continue designing this i also went ahead to add a upper margin to my design um, also using the file and the ruler and guide um, you know future to add text to your design you click on the text icon and you just go ahead and write whatever you 
want whatever information you want to pass to your audience um you can go ahead and add image you know um if it is a business um instagram covers that just go ahead and you know um use um pictures and write up that is actually related to um what you want to post so i will just go ahead and do mine um before we move to the next step Instead of changing my background color, I went on and exported this beautiful background for my phone gallery, increased the size to my desired um no, um to my desired size. So um, I actually made use of this background instead of changing the color. But if you don't have any you know background that you want to make use of, you can just go ahead and make use of the Canva colors. Or you can go and um, you know download your own background. When you're done with your text and adding your image and element, you can also screw a little down to add QR code to your design. So all you have to do is to click on the QR code and um, go to your WhatsApp and copy the link from your WhatsApp. Then you have to go back to Canva and then paste it. Click on QR code. And then paste the link. Okay, so next you're going to click on generate QR code. And it's going to pop up. So you just go ahead and paste it on your design resize it and paste it on your design so that's how to add QR code to your instagram browser so that um, your audience will be able to reach you easily I went on by adding a little more blob to my design and um, some gradients. This is just to add a little more beauty to my Instagram corals there. I went on to reduce the transparency of the blob. I also duplicated it to, you know, um, have a smaller size of it. So... At the end of the day, it came out great. I did not really expect it to, you know, come out great to work out this fine. But it did and I am super excited. So you can just go ahead and play with some different blob. Yeah, and, you know, just to make your, beautify your design. Once you're done adding your text, your images, and your elements, you can go ahead and download your design to your phone gallery, and it's ready for upload on Instagram. So split your Instagram carousel. All you have to do is to visit spintools.com, and you scroll down where you see choose file.
then you go ahead and uh, click on download or your gallery depends on your phone um okay should be on the yeah i think this is it all right so you go ahead and click on the image that you want to split so yeah you have to take notes that you don't want to click on the vertically you don't want to split your image vertically you have to click on horizontal or you can also click on both grid that is if you want the vertical and horizontal base i'm going to be clicking on the horizontal alone next you're going to click on the quantity of blocks you want so for our instagram corrosa we already know that it's five but if you want um if your design you actually had um seven section you're going to put seven yes but right now it's five we need okay so click on split image all right so our image has finally been splitted so all you have to do is to um go ahead and download all of the five um sessions so that it um let me return to my phone let me return to my phone okay So as you can see, we have our five sections ready. So that is, we have the five side. This is 